Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed, Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Your face feel good. Are you warm enough, darling? Me, I feel marvelous. And Gluff feels marvelous. Look at him dance around. Danes are winter dogs. They're built for cold weather. I hope he's not going to mind the summer. David, you are sweet to come walking in the park with me. I thought I'd give Mama the afternoon off. Listen to the sounds, David. They're winter sounds, aren't they? I'd know it was January by the sounds in the park if I heard them piped into the middle of an African desert. <laughs> Did you hear what I hear? Sounds like a hurdy-gurdy. Oh, <laughs> that's one on me. What is? Hurdy-gurdies and hand organs, darling, are a spring sound, not a winter one. I love them. And look, the children are skating in time to the music. Oh, David, look at his droopy mustache. Mm -hmm. He's just the way he's supposed to be, isn't he? Exactly. Look at his silly hat. Say, I remember this fellow. He used to play up around the zoo and... He has a wonderful monkey. But he remember you, David? Me? I've got a different hat on. Hello there. I haven't seen you in a long time. Hello, mister. Where's your monkey? I miss her. I was telling my wife about her. I miss her, too. Hey, my monkey, she died. Oh, what a shame. Recently? No. Pneumonia. She catch a call. The next day, the doctor, he says she got the pneumonia. Two days some more, my Josephine, she died. Oh, I didn't know monkeys could get pneumonia. Just like a human being is a monk, only is more smart. My Josie, she was just like a human being. When Dominic, he talked to Josie, she understand everything. Oh, she was a wonderful little monkey. I'm so, jealous. Now there's nothing left for me. I'm going to go back to Italy. I'm too sad to play a happy music with no Josie. And nobody is so like the hurdy gurdy man no more. No, oh, come now. That that's not true. No, no, don't tell it, Dominic. You know, the hurdy gurdy is out of style. People say don't appreciate the art anymore. They think all you do is you turn the handle and the music should come out. <laughs> it's not true. Once it was music for kings. And today it's music for beggars. Well, that makes us all very rich beggars, Dominic. It's still is a lost art. You know, when my hurdy gurdy she's a get broke, it's almost impossible for me to find some new music for him. Nobody make the music no more. Nobody not to listen no more. Ah, mamma mia, nobody is want all Dominic anymore. So, soon I'm going to go away. I come here today... To make one less goodbye to Central Park, where my Josie, she was so happy, and all the little kids, they was so happy with my Josie. Well, how about you getting another monkey? Wouldn't that sort of take care of things for you? No, no other monkey she can do. It's no other monkey in the whole world for me. That's the way I feel about you, darling. That's one of the nicest things you ever said to me, darling. No, it's no other monkey but Josie. You know, I not can even sell the organ. Nobody will buy. And it's such a beautiful instrument, you know, can throw them away, you know, or leave them under a tree to die. Somebody's got to have him. I must to pass him along. Oh, you must be able to sell it. It's, it's worth some money. It's the most beautifulest organ in the whole world. Um, um, I mean, I, excuse, I'm not going to talk about it no more. She making me too sad. What does it play, Dominic? What does repertoire? Oh, such a wonderful music. Oh, Sol Mio, and a Swanee River, and a Santa Lucia, and the most sweetest song of all, a Pagliaccio. Josie, she used to dance in the streets, and now I can, 
I can't know even a cell even. Mm, Dominic, if you were to sell this organ, how much would you want to sell it for? David! Well, it's, it's all a depend on what it's offered. Well, well, what would you expect to be offered to you? Uh, how much money you got with you, darling? Oh, about ten dollars. Uh, if my Josie was here, she would tell me. Such a little businesswoman, my Josie. When she dances around with a tin of cup, the money, she's a fall like from heaven. Dominic, why don't you make believe Josie is standing right here? Well, uh, well, me still all right. My Josie and me, we think uh, we sell it for... Uh, Thirty-five dollars? Thirty-five? Well, it's a lot of money, yes. But look at the seven beautiful musics inside. And, and the two paintings. And look, it's a big with the wheels like a wagon. We're not arguing about the price, but... Thirty-five, David. I didn't expect that price, did you? I must say, it took me by surprise. You see? Nobody is one to buy for only thirty-five for dollars. Well, I wouldn't think of buying it for a cent less than fifty would you, David? Not a cent less. It's absolutely ridiculous. Have we got enough money, David? Now, let me see. I'll, I'll empty out my pocket. Look, you don't think to buy for you. Will you sell it to us? Sell them to you? Sure, you love my organ. I sell them to you. Forty-nine, fifty. Let's see. That's fifty-two dollars and uh, thirty-nine cents. Two thirty-nine sales tax. Dominic, it's a deal. Santa Lucia. You pay $50 for the organ? And uh, $2.39 sales tax. Not a cent less. And don't try to bargain with us, Dominic. It won't do you a bit of good. Oh, Santa Lucia, no God to the words. So much money. Oh, I would kiss you. I would dance with you. I would do anything for you. I wish you had more, Dominic. I think this hurdy-gurdy is worth ten times that. Oh, you have the soul. You have the heart. And now you are going to have the greatest happiness in the whole world. When you're sad, you turn the little handle. And when you're happy, you turn the little handle. When it's rain or the sun is shining, you have a music all your life. Arrivederci, arrivederci. Sweet dreams and a sweet life to you. Dominic! And a Josie, she say good night uh, to you. Dominic, uh, wait a minute. Gracias, gracias. He's gone. Well, looks like we're the proud parents of a hand organ. What have I done? What, David? What have you done? I've... We've... We've bought this thing. Oh, is that all? Of course we've bought it. It's wonderful. It, it's mad. I, I never meant to... But we can use it as a table when we're not playing it. It'll make a beautiful table. And when the baby comes, darling, you won't have to sing to it. Babies love music. It's much better than a radio or a phonograph. Oh, David, I don't know where we could have gotten such a buy anywhere else, do you? Whatever it costs is worth it. I don't see what you're making such a fuss about, darling. To me, it's a perfectly normal thing that we have a hurdy-gurdy in the house. Me too, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> David, look. The children on the pond are waiting for some music. And they shall have it. Why not? At least it'll postpone our processions through the street. <laughs> David, if you do how silly you look, you don't belong with a hurdy-gurdy at all. Oh, I don't, don't I? <laughs> now listen to me. This is a hurdy-gurdy of mine. I love it. Here, I let love me it. fix your hat. I, I want to mash it in and make you look a little more like Dominic and a little less like you. Are you leaving my hat out of this? How's this? I'll put it sideways. All right, yeah. <laughs> I'm a very handsome a man, you see? I walk through the world with my music. David, you fool. <laughs> People are turning around and looking at you. Can't you behave? Behave? Please be quiet. Honestly, I don't know you at all. Come on, Blanc. Actually, we never met him. Hey, wait a minute there, you two. Uh, yes, sir, officer. I mean, yes, officer. What can I do for you? What are you doing with that thing? Uh, playing it, of course. And where's Dominic? This is his, ain't it? Come on, Bluff. We don't answer when strange men talk to us, do we? No monkey business, please. Where's Dominic? Uh, Dominic just left, officer, just this minute. Uh, Claudia, come back here. Honestly, officer, I don't know him. I never saw him before this minute. You know perfectly well you know me. How? Now leave us keep this argument out of the question. I don't know who knows who around here. I've been letting old Dominic off easy. 
And the kids like his music. But he, he ain't supposed to be playing it so near the street. Hurdy gurdies are out of bounds with the law. So you ain't got a chance. Come on now, Bluff. We've got to go home. If you leave me now, I won't speak to you as long as I live. Look, like, I look, wanna... look. What's going on here? I bet you stole it from Dominic. I bet it ain't yours at all. Well, you bet all wrong. This the beautiful instrument is mine. I just bought it. And from Dominic. Well, that's a laugh. Who buys one of these things these days? Oh, she does often. She's a little, uh, you know... Uh... Claudia! Claudia, come back here! Now, come on, come on. Let's quit the kidding. Show me the bill of sale. And you can't play one of these things without a license. Come on, show me your license. And tell me what happened to old Dominic. Well, look who's here if it isn't you. Dominic Norton. Wait till I get you home, Mrs. Dominic. Uh, uh, Claudia, tell the nice officer that uh, this hurdy-gurdy belongs to us. And we didn't buy it to play it. We, we, we bought it to take home and use it as a coffee table. Are you two nuts? <laughs> I think we are. <laughs> Officer, Dominic wanted to sell this. Josie, the monkey, died, and he wants to go home to Italy. Now, is that clear? Ah, poor old Dominic. Okay. But, well, I ain't having any truck with you, see? If I catch you on the streets playing that hand organ, your goose is going to be cooked so fast... Officer, do we look like the kind of people who'd go out in the streets and play this thing? You don't look like the kind of people I would know anyway. Your hat's on crook. David. Oh. Running around with your hat on, Crooked. I never heard of such a thing. Now get going, you two. Take that thing home or find a nice museum for it. And don't let me hear a peep out of you or else. Wasn't right. he nice? He loved Dominic, too. You think we could play it softly when the cops around the corner? He couldn't possibly hear. Well, let's see. Which way is he going? There he goes. He's turned the corner now. But I'm not going to play with oh, it. No. Go on, no. darling. Just a little... I know what you are. You're a scaredy cat. I'm a blithering idiot. That's what I am. Just crank the little thing once. That's the least we can do for Dominic and Josie. Don't you think? If you touch that handle, Oh, Claudia. David. Let me crank it just a little bit. Well, just a little. And darling, if a hurdy-gurdy means spring, it'll be spring in our house all the time. Not so loud, Claudia. Claudia, not so loud. Can't help it, David. Don't play any songs. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. Come on over to my house and have a Coke. There's an invitation youngsters never turn down. And how good it is to hear them troop in, sure of a welcome, anticipating the refreshment of a bottle of ice-cold Coca-Cola. You can buy Coke by the case now, so why not have your grocer or service station attendant put a case in the car today? With plenty of Coke in the refrigerator, you and the family can work and play refreshed. And you can always offer guests the pause that refreshes. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you, transcribed, with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. <laughs>